Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow home. Golden, golden. Golden, golden day. Good morning everyone, it is the day after. It's another Magical Moon video and I'm back down here with Ryan and the job is to remove this tree from the field. However, Jenny has made a very good point and we're all in agreement that it is too wet. As you can probably hear in the background, we've got lots of running water, there's a little riviere and you might be able to see, but the ground here will do your little pan round. It's, it's quite a slope. Um, so. The plan is we're going to wait. It's not going anywhere. As Ryan said, it's not an issue. We can move the horse. This is actually Cantho's field, so he can go in the next field. We can rotate because we've got that extra paddock we made. Um, and also, I'm away next week with Ryan. And as Jenny quite rightly said, we don't want to kind of do half a job Harry and it be left all over the place and the ground all churned up. So no harm done. Um, so it's just a case of as and when. When the ground's dry, yeah, essentially. When, yeah. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Precisely. But while we're down here, by this little riviere that I was talking about, there is quite an exciting discovery. And as uh, the next few episodes unfold, Jenny's gonna be doing quite a lot during this week of about our family and the home and the history of where we are. And it is very, very exciting. Toby touched on it in an earlier episode, but there is so much. We've only just scratched the surface. So come down here and I'll show you Ryan because he hasn't seen it. Something very exciting. And it's just the very, very tip of the iceberg to what is a very, very magical property. Let's have Let's a look. Let's go. Okay, so right now, Ryan, we are standing on what was once a very, very beautiful stone-built bridge, and it used to connect the main house or the estate house to our house, which was the workers' cottages. There were actually four families living in our house, as we mentioned, um, and there's loads of history, and we're gonna show you those ancient maps, and we're gonna tie it all together and really build a picture of what went on here as much as we can. There's a load of investigating to do, but the good thing is, my right hand man, Ryan, is gonna help us with the local French people. We're gonna to touch on some, or make some connections and see what we can deem from it because it's gonna be really interesting just to find out what went on here and how it all came about. But as you can see, this is now part of where nature has just found its way through and there's all the rocks which are still here but they've just been washed away. So um, it's just evidence of a bygone era, which is really cool. And it is cool that you've discovered it. Obviously, as you said, it is reclaimed by nature, but uh, you can clearly see the remnants of the bridge that once was. And um, yeah, so I can imagine, obviously, as you said, you had the uh, four families in the... Uh, the your, workers' barn. The workers' barn, as it were, or the workers' yeah. cottage, uh, to put it a bit more kindly. And... Uh, yeah, They've so come to and from. Yeah, and it just is over the brow of the hill. So we're actually in the valley. We said, as we said before, where the fallen tree is, behind where Jenny is now, is quite a slope. There's obviously the slope down from this side and the little riviere or the stream that runs through. Um, it is really cute. This uh, actually provides all round, all year round water for the horses. So all these fields that are connected, the new one we made the other day, horses can just walk down and drink this lovely, lovely magical water. So. Good. And where we're standing right now, this bridge would have been used every day yeah. by the workers. Toing and throwing, taking supplies, bringing yeah. stuff back over, and also going back to that bygone era of horsepower. Because you can imagine 
the hill that's up there and the hill that's up there to connect the two properties with anything any logistics it would be horse drawn so really really cool so uh, uh, an old horse bridge or people bridge but it's um yeah it's as we said it's just the very beginning of uh, what's going to be i think a really really magical and interesting uh, history of where we are and it's all part of what we do at the magical moon so uh and this bridge looks old i'm yeah. talking hundreds of years yeah it would be and i think that's one of the things when um you and jenny were looking at the maps earlier you can see we we can date the house due to it not being on a map and then it's or it's then shown on a newer map but we're just not sure the time difference between that but maybe when we go to see the neighbors or we see the marie they might be able to give us a little bit more info because i'm sure there's also one thing we'll do on our way out today we'll go up and we'll take a photo on the the actual village board of all the points of interest within the village we are on there so germinal our house uh, and the main estate house they're all on there so it's a very it's a it's a point of interest and it must have been significant for it still to be uh, mentioned so it'd just be interesting to find out what the depth of that is very true so this onwards and upwards let's go and see what it's all about see what we can find out Okay, so we've uncovered a little bit of history and just to give you an idea of what was here, what we're thinking is that there was this alleyway or gully created in the middle. You can see the flat stone which we've exposed and that formed the bit that the stream used to go through. So it's really, really cool and obviously bigger stones on top and it just went on and on and this side was a lot higher because it runs downhill that way but it just gives you an idea of what's what and as we were saying about the horse-drawn um, side of it, they also used oxes. We have a, an old ox stock, the, the big one that's hanging up in the feed room. So yeah, there's loads of history and it was a, a real nod to um, 
yeah, that kind of agricultural, rural French agricultural life. Um, everything they used, all this stone, and what we're going to go and show you more about the stones is we've got some very, very special stones on the property. And I actually found a piece of our stone in the Natural History Museum when we went back. And if you go back to that vlog, the trip to London and back, you'll see it in one of the cabinets there. So it's very, very special. And we're going to take you on that as part of our journey. So we will see you very soon. So it's the end of a few very productive days here at the Moon's household. Thank you so much, Nick, for having me. And thank you, Jenny, for having me as well. Uh, it's been fantastic. It's been, as I said, productive and very productive, in fact, because today, Nick and I, we went somewhere special and picked up a somewhat sentimental item, didn't we, Nick? We did. And Ryan has very kindly agreed to produce, make and deliver the film on our channel. So it's very, very, it's just one of those once in a lifetime experiences, <laughs> I think. So it's going to be good. You've got to watch it. In the meantime, we're off up to Ryan's house tomorrow and I'm going to be helping him for the week up there. The kids are all on holiday. Auntie Sean is coming here to spend time with uh, Jenny and all the kids and they're going to get up to loads of stuff. So that's going to be good. When we come back, there's lots to be thinking about because we've got Channel 4 coming who are going to be covering the horse dentist who's coming. And then over the period there here, we've also got the farrier who's coming to do the other herd. And in between that, we're going to be doing lots of uh, organising because we're going to start reconfiguring the Legends Barn. So really, really good things happening and uh, we'll see you very soon. Watch this space. <laughs>